16 year old runaway in Pasco County was looking for help, but was abused at every turn until she was finally saved. She is now at the center of a human trafficking investigation and a dozen people are facing charges. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live at the Pasco Sheriff's Office. Aaron, how was that teenager doing tonight? Haley, Sheriff Chris Nako says she's recovering and getting some help as, as she gets through uh, what, what stemmed from severe physical, emotional, and uh, mental abuse over, the la over a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, investigators are furious and they are stunned that this all went on in just a two-week period of time. This web of a dozen mugshots is missing the one person who connects each of these accused criminals. A 16-year-old girl who Pasco Sheriff Chris Nako says was abused in some way by everyone on this poster. Physically, she was absolutely abused. Mentally, she was tortured also. According to investigators, the teenager ran away from home in late November. The sheriff says that kicked off a two-week period in which she'd have sexual encounters with several men who claimed they would try to help her. There was her relative's pool cleaner, Stephen Graham, and John Malley, who deputies say found her walking alone in Newport Ritchie and offered to take her to his house for a shower. You're an absolute moron. What is wrong with you? I mean, unless you're just an absolute deviant, which he is. The sheriff would say the same thing about the four men she met at the roadway inn on US-19. We're told one of them was Timothy Colon, who investigators say told the teen to start telling people she was 20 years old. Detectives say Colon then introduced her to Candace Tectogan, who let the teen live at her Spring Hill home. Now her trouble keeps getting worse and worse, and she has no idea how to get out of it. Sheriff Nako says Tectogan trafficked the girl for sex and helped her get jobs at strip clubs, leading to more sexual encounters. But finally, someone saw the teen's runaway flyer and told Tectogan, who called the sheriff's office, helping launch this investigation. These people, it's all about money and their own pleasure. They're evil. And now 12 of them, including Tectagan, are facing charges relating to human trafficking, unlawful sex with a minor, and using a child for sexual performance. At a news conference, Nako was joined by Attorney General Ashley Moody and Hernando Sheriff Al Nienheis. You almost find it hard to believe that this was a two-week ordeal. This wasn't a movie. This is a girl's living hell that she went through. You know, these are things, drugs, alcohol, sex, coercion. Moody, meanwhile, says what's important now is the teenager's recovery. The silver lining in this case is that this child has been rescued, has been recovered, and is now receiving the services that she has long needed. Yeah, and Sheriff Chris Nako says one of the biggest concerns is that she's going to, you know, leave this recovery center that she's currently in right now and end up back in, in the company of these people who all, as the sheriff said, abused her in many different ways. That's why it's so important, Haley, that she's getting the help that she needs right now at, at a center that specializes in helping people through uh, these kinds of ordeals. Yeah, thank goodness she was rescued when she was. It is amazing looking at that map, though, seeing how many people failed her in, in that short amount of time. But uh, hopefully she'll get all the support she needs. Moving.